Hello, welcome to my first PHP tutorial. Um, if you're wanting to develop in PHP, the first thing you're going to want to do is get a uh, local web server so you can develop programs, uh, well, PHP scripts on your local computer before and test them before you deploy them to the internet. So the first thing you want to do is type into Google ZAMP. This is what mo uh, most people I've spoken to at least use. Um, this is a web server package that includes um, MySQL, PHP, Apache, and Perl. Um, uh, assume you're using Windows, you just click ZAMP for Windows on Apache Friends. Um, here we go. Once you're here, you download ZAMP. Installer is the easiest way to um, to install ZAMP. Um, I've already got ZAMP installed, so I won't take you through the installation progress. But it's just an EXE that it downloads, and you just run it as you would any EXE, and install it. Um, so yeah, that's ZAMP. Once you've installed ZAMP, um, default place it installs to is on your my computer C drive uh, ZAMP. Um, there's also a folder here called htdocs, which is where all your um, web uh, site code is stored under. So what I did is I made a um, shortcut and put it on my desktop which is here so I can just access my website code straight from here, uh, my desktop. Um, it also, you should have a shortcut on your desktop called ZAMP if you let it make a shortcut. If not you can just find it in uh, search, ZAMP control panel, uh, double click that and you need to start Apache to run your web server and if you're using a MySQL database you'll need to make sure MySQL is running as well. Uh, once it's started you can go to should be able to go to localhost in your browser and you can see all your you can, this is your web server. If I click here this is one of my websites that I'm working on for an online community. Just up here um, so here is a website that's running on my local um, web server. Um, you might also want to use an, an IDE, an integrated developer environment. Uh, I personally, uh, this is to develop your code, I personally use NetBeans. It does everything I want it to do and it's what I've always used, never had a problem with it. Um, you can get NetBeans by going to netbeans.org and downloading it. Uh, click the download button and if you're just developing in PHP and this includes HTML and JavaScript then you just click download under the PHP column here. Once that's downloaded um, yeah, you probably you need Java installed as well if you're downloading NetBeans that's what it uses to run uh, that's what it's developed in. Um, that's one of the reasons I use NetBeans as well is that it lets me program in Java as well um, if you download the all thing, um, all option back here, you can have NetBeans that supports all of these languages. But if you only PHP, then only download PHP. Um, yep. And in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to use NetBeans and create your first Hello World um, program in PHP.